Welcome back everybody, High Tech Lab here. Today we are working on our shipping container project. This is part two. If you haven't seen part one, be sure to click on the link in the card in the top corner real quick. So we've made a little bit of progress. Uh, if you look behind me, I've moved some dirt. You can kind of see some disturbed dirt because these containers weren't totally level in the last video. So we were trying to get them welded together. We were using a come along to bring them tight to each other. And that essentially what it did was it made the doors a little bit out of square on the one container. So we got the ground leveled. We drug the containers over. There's no video of that, unfortunately, because we had some bad weather and we were trying to get it done. Uh, we did a little bit of the leveling and grading at night. So uh, ultimately there's nothing on that. But we're up here on the roof now. Um, we're ready to get these two containers put together. Check out what I've got over here. Uh, I already ran through with a flap disc. Uh, this is the flap disc I used. I knocked off all the paint from this seam where we're going to be welding these containers together. And uh, now we have nice shiny metal. Now in the last video, I mentioned using 6011 uh, stick electrodes. We've switched to 7018 because that rod just flows so much smoother. And uh, we chose 6011 because of the contamination. Um, you know, there's some rust and stuff, but I've got this uh, wire wheel on the grinder now. So this is what we're gonna do. This is the piece of rebar uh, that we're gonna use to close this gap, because this is too wide of a gap to uh, weld on our own. So we're gonna lay that in there, and I'm gonna get a couple of tack welds on it, and then I'm gonna wire wheel off the rebar. And I already tested that a little bit over here. You can see it's shiny. So now once that's nice and clean, I can run a weld bead on this side and a weld bead on this side, and that'll really make things nice um, and sealed. So essentially what we're doing is we're using uh, the weld and the rebar to the containers to create a seal so we don't have to worry about waterproofing this. Um, but yeah, we got this nice and clean down to shiny metal. Uh, that should really make our welds come in nice. Now it's gonna be a little tricky over here on the corner um, where this rebar ends, this is gonna, this has paint and stuff in there. I couldn't really get in there with my wire wheel. So that kind of is gonna be a little bit tricky. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do there. It may just be a matter of kind of stacking up some nasty welds, wire wheeling it off, you know, welding some more onto there. I mean, ultimately it's not structural. It's just keeping water from going in, but uh, that's what we've got going on. So we're gonna uh, slowly start getting things tacked into place. And uh, hopefully by the end of the day, we have a full weld down the length of this container. And uh, then we can proceed to working on the inside of them. So real quick, just a little example. Here is about halfway down the containers. You can see with this rebar in here, we have a perfect uh, setup for some nice welds to the rebar once everything's wire wheeled off. So I'm really happy with how this is gonna turn out and uh, we'll show you more as it comes. Alrighty, so welcome back. The sun has set on the horizon, but these containers you can still see actually pretty good with the sun reflecting off the sky. So I am about here. That's about halfway down. And uh, yeah, I've made pretty good progress. I burned quite a bit of rod. Um, I've been burning both the 330 seconds and the 1 8 7018. Uh, for some reason, in some cases, the 330 seconds burns a little bit easier. Um, but like here where this is almost flat to the container, uh, the eighth inch was working better. Uh, back over here, I had a little bit of a rough time. Uh, where about was it? It was about here. Uh, I got a ton of porosity and it was pretty clean to start with. So I'm not sure what exactly happened there. You can see the absolute mess of slag is all over. And that's the only downside to stick welding things is you get quite a bit of slag. Um, this machine will do wire feed welding. So you can do MIG and flux core. Um, but my gun for wire feed welding, the actual, um, you know, cable and trigger assembly whatever you want to call it the switch sticks sometimes so uh, in this case it was actually easier just to burn stick electrodes instead of trying to uh, wire weld it i've gotten you know by this point pretty good at it but uh starting out i was having a little bit of difficulty but you can see there are some pretty nice stacks of dimes in here 
um, among some of the spots that had porosity. At the end of the day, this is going to be perfectly fine. If it has some spots that need a touch of like some lap sealant, we can go pick some of that stuff up at Ace and uh, throw some lap sealant over it. I don't think it's going to be the biggest deal, but uh, we're still going to weld the whole thing because this is still going to keep uh, strength between the two pieces or between the two containers, I should say, once we cut the wall out below. Uh, a lot of the strength in the shipping container construction is in the corners and the walls. So like this roof uh, probably looks weird on camera, but if I try jumping, it actually does flex a little bit. But then you go over to the sides and you do the same thing. It doesn't flex because the walls take up the, you know, they, they take up kind of that sheer force um, going down, I guess I could say. So uh, down in here, this is going to be a weird angle. Uh, you can see there were some shelves. Uh, Jarrett's been working on taking those out while I've been welding. And um, yeah, things have been going pretty well. Uh, a lot of welding. It's a lot of work. And uh, I think tomorrow I'm going to work on getting some more weld done. And uh, once we get, you know, a majority of the way done, I'll record some more video and that'll be in the next episode. So if you guys have been enjoying this series, be sure to leave a thumbs up. If you haven't seen the last episode, go ahead and click on the link on screen right now. Other than that, guys, uh, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye now.